Welcome to this video on simple calculations in Python. This is where it gets really exciting and where we get to look at how to use Python to actually solve simple problems and come up with solutions. As we looked at in a previous video, some of the first calculating machines, here are some pictures, and calculations have always been really important. In fact, we've been calculating things for thousands of years and this trend doesn't look set to stop anytime soon. On the right hand side is a massive computer, it's the Z3, and it's the first fully automatic digital electromechanical computer. Obviously we now have calculations that we can do on our phone, but calculations still make up a very important part of pretty much any program. In order to make calculations you need to know about operators. These are the simple ones that we're going to look at and be using. We'll get to other ones as you go through and delve deeper into Python. We have the plus, the minus, the divide, and the multiply. You also have comparison operators. That is, the equals equal to, for instance, is A equal to B, greater than, less than, etc. Feel free to pause the screen, read the definitions, and look at the different arithmetic operators that are available to you in Python. For instance, addition, the plus. Simply use it to add two variables together, such as a plus b. Or division, b divided by a would give you a certain result. Modulus and exponent. We don't look at examples here, but we come to those at a later stage. Comparison operators are very useful. If you're searching for equivalence, say you're looking to see if a password is what you want it to be, you might use a double equal sign. For instance, is a equal to b? You might use a greater than sign to check for something, or a greater than or equal to sign if you're looking for something more precise. You should be able to now go through the tasks, attempt each one, and then come to the final challenge.